Hey guys, Brand with Electrical Specialist. Uh, coming to you here on a Friday. And I just thought I would answer a question that we actually have gotten for a long time. And it's been difficult to explain because it is quite a lengthy explanation. So I figured I'd make a video um, so people could actually get a better understanding and in-depth reason about something. And that's two-pronged plugs. I'm sure uh, Topeka's got a lot of these anywhere around us. Um, it just means it has no ground. You got a hot and a neutral, your old knob and tube houses, that's all they've got. So we get a lot of calls uh, from the simple as, hey, can you come change our two prong plugs to three prong? Or, hey, we've got some bids to rewire our house because there's no grounds. Would you come give us our fourth bid to rewire our house? Meaning chase from the attic and the basement pull all the old wire out, pull new wire in. Um, and a third option, which is actually legal, is running a single ground wire to each plug and device, but none of those are reasonable. Uh, if you're just trying to fix one plug, maybe, but if you're trying to do the whole house, uh, there is one solution that usually fits most of these situations, and that's GFCI protection. Uh, most of you are familiar with a GFCI device. It has the buttons on it, test and reset. Usually it's got a couple of lights on it. Uh, first of all, just for your information, the lights mean a lot of different things. Usually it'll say on it, sometimes the light is a test. Sometimes they cycle through a test every day, once a week. Uh, each manufacturer is different. Sometimes the light's a test. Sometimes the light means it's bad. Sometimes the light means it's good. Uh, so we get a lot of calls saying, hey, well, it's got a light on it, so it should be good. It means something different with every manufacturer, so I disregard the light unless I'm there to inspect it myself. But this used to be our go-to solution for changing out two-pronged devices. Um, it's still okay, but we're missing one crucial feature and that's the arc fault. Um, our code changed not too long ago to where anytime we run a new circuit, anytime we add a new device, uh, it has to be not only tamper resistant, meaning it's got little shutters. All these devices, you may not be able to see it in the video, but they've got little shutters inside to where a young Brandon can't stick a knife into one of the eyelets and get shocked you have to actually evenly push two in at the same time. So you've got tamper resistant and you got arc fault. So this is actual GFCI device, but anytime we put a new device in or to run a new circuit, it has to be arc faulted. So when I'm changing this out, I would have to put in an arc fault device. They do have them. This is just a GFCI device. The arc faults look very similar, but I don't think you want 60 of these devices in your home to replace these. So there is a better solution. This is a dual function breaker. This just happens to be a square D QO. Is that a QO or a home line? I lied, it's a home line. Square D home line, just the make and model of the panel. But you'll notice by the little purple button on there, this is actually a dual function breaker, meaning it does both GFCI and arc fault. So by doing both, it eliminates the need for having these all over your house, which we used to do, and it gets tedious. It gets, it's a nuisance. These will trip, they will go bad. Uh, so have, you can imagine having 40 of them throughout your house would get annoying eventually. Uh, so anyway, this is the real solution. If you need a, a whole house protected, uh, if you don't have ground wires in your house and you don't want to pay to have the whole house rewired, which is about double the price of wiring it if it was a brand new house, uh, this this is the way to go. Uh, what we typically would do is we come over and we troubleshoot and find out what circuits go where, which, which ones need it. Um, now, I'll get down to the reason why. The reason why we are able to use these and not have to put a ground in to then put a three-prong plug in, because that's 
That's what you're all trying to do, right? You're all trying to go from two to three. Well, short of actually running new wire to it and running a ground, we are allowed to GFI or arc fault protect them. Um, and the reason is this. If you had a ground wire and you had an arc fault, your vacuum you had a vacuum cleaner plugged into your plug, it blows up. That ground wire, well, this, there's not even a screw on here because there is no ground. Normally you'd have a ground screw on here. That ground wire would usually take that arc fault back to the source, back to the panel, back to the neutral, and in, either into the ground or back to the power provider, it would handle that overage. Being that you don't have that, see, even this ground fault has a ground screw on it, but you probably don't have the ground. But these, both of these are, they sense milliamps. This does both, actually. It senses arcs and milliamps for GFCI. But when that vacuum cleaner blows up, this will sense the, differenti the differential between the two, and it will trip this. So, in, in essence, it's stopping that overload from traveling through all the devices on that circuit back to the source. So, you're, it's more or less isolating it. So, this is a much more efficient way to go from two to three prong instead of rewiring your entire house. I wouldn't stop anybody from rewiring it, but it is very costly uh, nobody likes to do it. We don't like to do it because it means tons of attic crawling. It means crawling to the crawl space, trying not to drill a million holes in the wall. It's just cheaper if you rip the sheetrock down to rewire it than it is to try to rewire it with all that stuff up. So this is actually the answer. Now, of course, this is one brand. They make them many different brands. As long as your panel is new enough to put an arc fault or dual function breaker in, this is a solution to take care of. So if you're tired of your two prong plugs, and you want to go to three, and you don't want 65 devices like this around your house, we'd be happy to come in and install these in your panel and make everything in your house arc fault and ground fault. And by code, you are good to go. It's as safe as you can get without running the ground. So I hope that made some sense to you guys. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I try to make it as simple as possible as far as what you're asking for to, to what you need. Um, and that's the basis of it. So I hope that helped. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend, guys.